Hey everybody, how's it going today? I wanted to uh, come and talk to you today and do my long-term review on the 511 TacTec plate carrier. What exactly is the 511 TacTec plate carrier? And why get it over something else? Well, I picked this up because at the time it was the official vest, the official vest of CrossFit and of the CrossFit Games. I wanted something that I could wear while I was at the gym that wouldn't scream, oh my God, this guy's got a plate carrier. Instead, someone would be like, what's that? And I'd be like, oh, it's the official uh, plate carrier of CrossFit. And they'd be like, oh, cool. Yeah, you know, okay. Yeah, I, I remember seeing that one in the CrossFit games, blah, blah, blah. And it wouldn't spook anybody. I have this in my car, in my truck. I'm on the way to the gym. I'm wherever I'm on, wherever you want to be. Get pulled over by the cops. Why do you have a plate carrier? Oh, that's the one from CrossFit. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that was my original reason for getting this one was I wanted a good plate carrier from a good name brand. And I wanted, and I liked the fact, I should say, that it was actually used in the CrossFit games. It was the official, official CrossFit plate carrier, which allowed me to have a multiple use from the, the carrier. I could use it at the gym, not spook anybody. I could carry it around and not spook anybody. I would kind of slip under the radar, if you would. But, while it's great for CrossFit, it's not necessarily great for the tactical applications of today. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, number one, as you can see, this is the old style that has the Velcro underneath, the flap comes down, this flap is not removable. So you can't really use one of the Velcro style placards with this. Um, also, the way that this side cummerbund is, depending on how high you wear it or how long your torso is, it actually comes real close to when I'm carrying my uh, spare magazines on my belt, uh, my war belt, my uh, first line, whatever the hell you want to call it. When I'm wearing that, these can actually reach down, on how I, depending on how I'm moving, and grab the pistol mags and pull them out when I move. So it's not perfect for that. And which it's going to depend on the magazine you use. It's going to depend on how long your torso is. It's going to depend on how high you wear everything. So for you, that might not be an issue. But for me, I did find that even just while road marching and, you know, turning and checking, sometimes these would grab my pistol mags and would kind of try to pull them out of the holder. Now, my belt, I've done a video on my belt. You can go back and look. You can see exactly how I run it. I've got the uh, uh, G-Code Soft Shell Scorpion mag carriers for the pistol. And those are the ones that it would grab uh, and try to pull them out. Now, if you run a closed flap system or, like I said, it's going to depend on what gear you run. But I did notice that for me, it did try to pull my mags out. So you can't use your new placard style because this isn't removable. I mean, I guess if you wanted to take and flip this up and leave it up and then put your placard on, maybe, but I, I think it's not placard available. Uh, not for the type that Velcro's onto the front now that everyone's using. Um, so not, can't use a placard, and depending on what magazine, what setup you have around your waist, these being open could grab, possibly grab and pull stuff out. Now that is really the only negatives I've got about it. The thing is really comfortable. It, it's a good looking rig. It's held up, I've had this for uh, four years now. I have used it for Murph every year. I've used it in several other workouts. I have used it at the range. I've used it LARPing around in the woods. Uh, I don't have the uh, 
the plates that CrossFit uses for the weighted plates. I actually have AR500 plates in here, which weigh a little bit more, uh, which I don't care about being true sanctioned to the weight of, of the CrossFit games or anything, because obviously I'm not a CrossFit's game uh, athlete, but I still uh, have AR500 plates with trauma pads. Uh, it's a good looking rig. It's lasted, like I said, I'm on year four with it. Um, now, I'm not kicking indoors, obviously. I'm not a LEO who's out on the beat every day in it. From using it in CrossFit and in CrossFit style workouts, and from using it at the range and for shooting and for playing, I've got no complaints other than the two that I mentioned. The fact that you can't use it for uh, placards and the fact that it will sometimes pull my magazines out. Um, it is what you would call your legacy old style uh, molly. Um, you could attach whatever you want molly wise. I've ran magazines in the front. I have ran a uh, G-code holster. Uh, I can't remember what they call it now. It's their RTI Molly hanger, I think is what they call it. Anyway, I've ran it up here and take and put my pistol here while I'm in a vehicle and then take it out and actually attach it to the RTI on my leg. I kind of stepped away from that. Um, I believe it was a little bit of overkill. But for a good workout vest and for a good vest, if you're not necessarily wanting to look so tactical and if you wanted to match with like what the CrossFit gyms have, this is a great vest for that. It's a great carrier for that. Um, it can be made with some gear to work uh, with a placard type system. I've got a separate video, uh, should be the one right before this or right after this, somewhere in the same time frame where I am using it with the uh, Army TAPS system, which is their uh, tactical assault panel. And you take these little guys right here that I take and tuck underneath when I'm not using it. And you use these little guys here and it will attach to the taps. And then right here on the sides will attach to the taps. And then you can run a placard style, uh, but that's the only one that I know that works uh, like this because it doesn't have the Velcro here. Now you might be able to find something or if you have a placard that has the hooks Maybe you can make something work, but I personally have not been able to. Uh, the, the old, I say old, it's the surplus army tap system from around 2006, 2008. It's still a great system and it does hook up to this vest and works great as well. Um, no real other issues. It's held up great. I have only used the, uh, it does have the emergency uh disconnect i've used it one time just to test it worked great you grab that pull and it falls off of two pieces uh so it does have that uh if that's something that you feel that you need if you're doing water operations if you're somewhere where you think you need to quickly get out of it it does have it and it is a excellent system um that's about all i got on it it is the 511 Oh, there you go, 511. Tac Tech plate carrier. It's great for working out, but it's a little dated when it comes to tactical use. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the flip side. Have a good one. Like, subscribe, clickety click stuff that's down here somewhere, probably. Should be, I think. I don't know. Anyway, do all that comment tell me what you think what you use what you like if you've used one of these and you've got it to work with a new style placard let me know which placard what you did because i would like to try it with some of the new stuff uh anyway thank you guys we'll see you next time